In Ugladar, a small town in Ukraine, the Russian military launched a major offensive with more than 150 units of military equipment. Their goal was to break through the Ukrainian defense and capture the town. The Russians assembled a powerful armored fist and were confident of their success. Advancing in columns, they lined up to break through the Ukrainian positions. However, the Ukrainian military closely monitored the situation and began to act in time. Ukrainian artillery men really like large accumulations of armored vehicles, and the Russians intended to break through the Ukrainian positions, but something went wrong. The battle for the city of Bakhmut has become the fiercest of the entire war, and the Russians have some success around the city. They managed to create huge pressure on Ukrainian positions regardless of the losses. The fire is waged 24 hours a day without stopping, and the Ukrainian defenders retreat when the cost of holding the position becomes too high. The local landscape is terrifying, and the city of Bakhmut is almost completely destroyed. Ukrainian soldiers help the remaining civilians with food even though many of them are actually waiting for the Russians to come. In Lyman, the Russians are also conducting offensive operations to regain the key city they lost last year. The front line here passes through dense pine forests, and the main skill here is to disguise your positions and military equipment well. The Russians use a special vehicle called the Tzoazvo to hunt down the positions of the Ukrainian artillery. This machine can detect a flying enemy projectile, a mine, a rocket, and even a shot from a tank gun in two seconds. It calculates the reverse flight path with an accuracy of several meters, determining the coordinates of the place where the ammunition was fired from. The received coordinates are transmitted to the crews of multiple launch rocket systems, which immediately open fire on the enemy. Back in Ugladar, the Russians are advancing with a whole column of armored vehicles, and three Russian brigades are participating in the offensive at once. Obviously, they were given the task of breaking through the Ukrainian defenses in this place. The Russians had an absolute numerical superiority here, at least three to one. From the Ukrainian side, the defense was held by the 72nd Brigade one of the most experienced units that defended Kiev. Ukrainian drone operators provided unique documentary footage, and Ukrainians have achieved great skill in using civilian drones in war. The battle started suddenly when Russians got close to the right distance. Precision-guided Ukrainian artillery came into play, and several accurate hits caused the first tanks to begin burning. The Russians tried to shoot back with tanks, but the Ukrainians continued to destroy their equipment with accurate hits. In the end, the Russians dropped everything and started to run away, but not everyone was so lucky. Many remained there forever on that day. The Ukrainian military destroyed dozens of armored vehicles, including more than 30 tanks and the offensive failed completely. Later military experts rated the level of training of the Russian infantry very low and came to the conclusion that they have no more chances to win this war at all. The Russians made several more attempts to break through in this place, but they were all unsuccessful.